My, 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 what do we have here? I am so ready to open my mail. So I ordered some fabric from eBay and it's just one piece of fabric and I ordered about, yeah, I think it was three yards exactly. And I cannot wait to open it. So I'm gonna open it with you. And let's take a look. It is rayon and it's black and it has cherries all over it. And I hope it's not too sheer. Let's see. I don't have any plans for what I want to make out of this fabric. Oh, I like it. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's sheer at all. Oh, I like it. I actually kind of thought that the cherries would be a little smaller. They're a little bit bigger than I thought they were or than they appeared on the camera or on the internet. But it's okay. I like it. And I will find something to make out of this. With three yards, I should be able to make something. Maybe even a long dress or, or something like that. So... Or, or maybe two pieces or something so we'll see but this is what I had to open and share with you and then I also have a sewing make that I want to share well two sewing makes that I want to share so the first one is Butterick 6677 and this is actually a pattern that I made last summer I haven't worn it yet and I just made it and hung it up in my closet and I thought you know I haven't shared this so let me go ahead and put this dress on and share this make. So I made you see and I also made this in a rayon and it does have stripes so it's red with black stripes and some of the features in the pattern there is a back closure so it has like the little opening in the back and a button at the top to close it and then there are gathers so at the bottom there are gathers and then in the middle there is elastic in the waist i decided to go ahead and add the belt and then there are front pockets the only change that i made is where the pattern called for single fold bias tape i just chose to use double fold so that was it on that make and I really like it and the rayon was really nice. It has a nice flow to it so you'll get to see that. And let's see, the second make is actually this top that I'm wearing and it's a bodysuit. It is McCall 7983 and I made you A with the shorter sleeves. And I really like that. I like the way or where the sleeves stop. I like that. And I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. And this is the fabric that I shared in the video when I went shopping. And I said that I wanted to make a uh, turtleneck. Well, instead of the turtleneck, I just decided to make a bodysuit instead. So, yes, I am really excited. And as I mentioned before, I really love this Kelly green color. I just love this color. When I see it, I just always want it. So, yes, I'm glad that I was able to make this bodysuit. I didn't have any issues. The pattern is rated as easy, and I thought it was easy. It came together, no problems. And I had some snaps, which I was happy about, so I didn't have to worry about going to the store and trying to find some snaps. So, yes, I used snap tape, actually. So I had snap tape, and I had snaps, but I just used the snap tape, and that was pretty easy to just sew and snap up, and that was it. Okay, so those are my two makes. So I will go ahead and show you what the dress looks like on.
is my dress. And before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So something that I learned recently is that tennis players are not allowed to swear when they are at Wimbledon. And any player who is caught uttering an obscenity can expect to pay a fine. Isn't that interesting? And I even learned that the umpires have to know when someone is swearing in a different language, even if it's a language that the umpire doesn't speak. So, wow, I thought that was interesting. That gives them something to do. They have to go and learn all those different languages. So, yes, I thought that was so interesting and I wanted to share that. So, that's it. That's all. And I hope you come back for the next one. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.